Hey everyone, my name is Alex. I am a Microsoft student partner over at UCI and I'm here to take a quick look at the new Zune 4.0 software. Um, as you guys can see right off the bat, uh, the interface is really simple, uh, really slick I think. Um, the animations are, are top notch. There's no lag whatsoever between um, clicks. So this is the quick play page where you can quickly uh, generate and play music that you like. Um, over here you can pin your favorite artists or albums. You've got your new music that you've just added to your library and um, a history of recent music you've played. The most important feature I think of Zune, the Zune 4.0 software is the smart DJ. So if you want it you just click down here and it pops up. Here you can specify five of your favorite artists um, to generate dynamic playlists of music that's similar to the artist. Um, if I wanted, to, I can easily change one by just clicking uh, this button. And if I can just enter, let's see here. Let's see if I have Ray Charles. There you go, just like that. So let's delve in real quick to uh, the quick the uh, smart DJ feature. Uh, let's try Pink Floyd. And instantly a playlist of music pops up. Um, not only does it have music from your collection, but also music from um, the Zune Pass database. Uh, for, to use this feature, you have to have Zune Pass. Um, there's a 14-day trial pass which you can sign up for, and then after that it's um, $15 a month. If you don't want to show this music, um, a, a Zune Pass music, you can easily disable that feature by unchecking this box and it'll only display music from your library. Uh, the visualizations are actually really nice. Um, shows an image of the uh, artists while all this text flies by. It's really cool, really stylish. So if I just change the song to say The Rolling Stones, first it'll transition to a collage of my al albums and then the Rolling Stones appear. And you've got all this cool wording that you know slides by. It's really cool. Um, if you want information, you can just click on this little I button and get more information on the album. You can look at the review, you can you know, send it to a friend. There's all these cool little things you can do with uh, your music. Uh, down here you've got your um, standard play, fe uh, play buttons, you know, you've got, you can hide or display the uh, playlists, repeat on, uh, full screen, and exit now playing. So if I just exit, I go back to the quick play screen. Um, there's also the collection screen, which you can play. Oops, okay, which you can play. Uh, you know, music, videos, pictures, your podcasts, and your channels. Um, you can filter your your content by artist, genres, albums, songs, and your playlists. So yeah, really nice. As you can see, there's no lag whatsoever um, in between. Uh, whenever you're doing something. So over here you've got Marketplace where you can uh, buy songs and play any song you want. With, with Zune Pass you get unlimited plays but only 10 downloads per month. Over here you have Social which is sort of um, Zune's way of connecting with other Zune users. So yep, that's my quick look at the new Zune 4.0 software. Um, I definitely suggest you just try it out. Um, there's really no harm in it. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.